Good evening everyone, this is Chris Saraga for the 365. I'm down here at the Feather River Nature Center, or as I like to call it, the Rock House. And I was walking down here and I was trying to figure out why I like this place so much, why I report from here so often. And I just realized that with the, new, the news that I got today, um, that this is the place where it all started for me. I was right here, right here, uh, on the, in early February when the evacuation order came out. I was right here and it was here I made my decision to report to all of you guys and to not evacuate with the rest of everyone. So that is why I'm always, I didn't realize it till now, that is why I'm always down here. I'm down here because this is where the 365 started, which is fantastic for, uh, which is what I like. I mean, that's, this is where the whole organization started. So I try to come visit here as often as possible. So. Anyway, on to today's news, which is uh, the DWR, let me stand up here, the DWR has uh, put out a release today about its plans, let me see if I can get everything in the background I like, there you go, for its plans for the uh, spillway and recovery. So first off, as of, uh, I guess it would be today, the uh, DWR has moved from crisis mode into recovery mode. So at this point, they are thinking that we are, um, that this is a repair effort and it's no longer the uh, fact that they're managing a crisis. So uh, along those lines, they have an intent, they intend to shut down the spillway on Friday uh, starting at 9 a.m. They'll ramp it down and the main spillway will be, uh, will be closing they will balance out the flows. They're going to ramp it down from uh, the 20,000 or so it is at now down to uh, ramp down to 5,000 uh, to 8,000 cubic feet by May 19th at approximately 1, a, uh, 1 p.m. That means that they're turning the Hyatt Powerhouse on and that the Hyatt Powerhouse will be uh, producing 8,100 cubic feet a second then. Um, that should, should also be noted that they uh, plan to finish the refit of the uh, first turbine there. They call it Pinstock 1. Uh, and it should be back in use so the uh, Hyatt power plant can be up to 13,000 cubic feet a second. Uh, and also they have the river valve outlet system is should be repaired. And that is, let's see, early next week for the Hyatt powerhouse to be completely repaired. And the river valve system has the capacity already to release 40, 000, I'm sorry, 4,000 cubic feet more. So that's a total of 7, 000, sorry, 17,000 cubic feet a second that they will release. So after they have turned off the spillway this time, they don't intend to turn it back on until it's repaired enough to be used. Uh, that would be essentially November 1st. So they have every intention of making sure that the spillway is completely, well, not completely, repaired enough to handle the uh, winter season of next, of I guess it's this year, of next winter season in November. Um, lastly, another thing that I thought was really good is that they have um, put up a couple webcams that they uh, that they are allowing public access to. As of right now, they're not functioning. They thought they were, they're not functioning right now. So what I will do is I'll post that on the links in uh, the YouTube links and the Facebook links here and give you the address so you guys can actually go watch the, um, watch the progress as they rebuild the spillway. So I do know, I've only had eyes on one of the cams myself, and you know how I like to only report what I've seen. So one of the cams is directly across from the spillway. So where where the water comes out, right across from what I call the dragon teeth on the, I guess they're diverters on the end of the spillway, the right there at the end is across, all the way across the river and near, just off of Ora Dam there is where one of the cameras is and that points directly at the spillway and the construction area there. So that should be very interesting to watch. I, I didn't uh, take the time right now to uh, look at the river totals, uh, so I'm not exactly sure what they were. At the last, my last check, it was about 831 feet. Uh, the the reservoir level was about 831 feet, and it was about 20,000 cubic feet of water that was coming out the river. So those totals are obviously going to change starting nine o'clock tomorrow they're going to lower that down and eventually it will be at about eight thousand cubic feet a second for the river flow so let me pan you around a little bit here now i have recently started to 
change the way that I do this so I don't have to flip the phone over for you guys later. So everything should be pointed in the right direction. But for some reason, after uh, this, I think this is my 99th cast, I'm having trouble getting used to it being the right direction now. So first off, that is the, um, Yes, one of the listeners commented that I always have to think about where I'm at, I mean, and it's true. I go to so many places that I'm never quite, I, I can't quite get the spot where I'm at, so I have to kind of give myself a couple seconds to think about it. But for right now, that is, let's see if I can get my hand right. We want to go that way. There we go. That is the fish hatchery, um, fish hatchery waterfall. Right above that is the diversion pool, um, essentially spillway gates, but. Past that is the diversion pool itself, then we have the spillway, then we have the Orville Dam, and then even farther up there, like I was up yesterday, I was at um, Lime Saddle Marina, that's up that direction, Bidwell Marina, uh, Loafer Creek, if you haven't been there, that's a great place to go. So going the other way, let's turn, so that, that right there is the fish hatchery, that is the Thermolito Bridge, Green Bridge, that way is Bedrock Park. I see. I forgot. I, I did it again. Bedrock Park, Riverbend Park, uh, eventually Gridley, Live Oak, Marysville, and then the Delta and all that area. That right there, actually, that right there, that's not good for me. I, I just was telling one of my friends, they, they always think I'm joking, but I actually don't swim so well. I'm always near the water and I love to jet ski and do all that stuff, but I don't swim so well. So. That water is really, really bad for me. <laughs> I try to stay out of it as much as I can. Every once in a while I fall in. As a matter of fact, I fell in just before this, in my, uh, just before the podcast. I got, my shoes are just a little wet today. But, so, and as, I just wanna get you guys one last, matter of fact, I'm gonna flip this around and pan around. I just wanna get you guys one good look at the Feather River here, because we probably aren't going to see it at this level until sometime in November. The DWR is expecting to not have to open the spillway back up until after the repairs are done. That of course is contingent on anything that could happen, you know, if they get more snow melt than they thought or whatever. But so that is, and uh, here's a great representation. So maybe I'll come back down here in a few days. So right there, you can see the white on that rock. That's the high, uh, high water mark from the spill before this. The actual high water mark is way, way above me by 15 feet, but the last spill's high water mark was there. So next time I come down here, I'll stand on this rock, this rock right here, and show you that measurement again. So right over there is the, uh, the beautiful waterfall that's right near the fish hatchery. That actually, um, that actually does help to divert uh, the salmon into the fish hatchery itself. And then that's the fish hatchery. Thermolito Bridge, and finally, finally, just in that direction is the beautiful town of Orville. And right up here, I don't know if you can see it too well, you can see the two benches I took a picture of a long time ago that were almost underwater. That is the rock house. So, for the 365, I'd like to say good day. Have a great night. Thank you for watching. As always, like, share, and subscribe. Some of you are grabbing up the YouTube channel and subscribing to that. That's great. Oh, I, I did get a couple of the YouTubers uh, mentioned that someone else was using my footage. That is perfectly okay to use my footage. I have no problem with that whatsoever. Just please make sure that you uh, do a link back to the channel and you can use whatever of my footage that you'd like on your site. So thank you very much. Have a great day and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.